Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to transport you back to the 1890s, the era of Sir Augustus Harris. Augustus was one of Drury Lane's greatest managers and was searching for a way to make our shows the most spectacular in the world. He employed the leading theatre designer, Edwin O. Sachs, to completely modernise the stage. Sachs' inspired idea was to install electric bridges and hydraulic rams, all designed to raise and lower the stage. Britain had never seen anything like this before. At 12.2 metres wide and 24.4 metres deep, Drury Lane stage is the largest in London, and the stunning new machinery was all positioned in the front half. In 1896, the hydraulic rams were installed, followed in 1898 by the upstage electric bridges, and the entire system was completed by the arrival of the downstage bridges in 1930. The hydraulic rams were unique in Britain. They were 6.4 metres tall, and each section could be raised 3.3 metres above the stage and lowered to 2.4 beneath. Water was pumped from tanks using a system of levers and valves, and because we were able to control the amount of water in each ram, we could not only raise and lower the stage, but could also rock, tilt and scissors it too. The rams were used to spectacular effect in 1900, when, in the price of peace, the audience were brought to their feet by a ship rocking violently from side to side. Both the 1898 and 1930 bridges were powered by electric motors and were raised and lowered using a system of winches and counterweights. Using this equipment, we were able to create spectacles such as had never been seen before. We've staged burning cities, earthquakes, and in the 1897 production of The White Heather, a sunken galleon and an underwater fight between the hero and the villain. In Noel Coward's heart-stopping cavalcade in 1931, a massive troop ship with 400 soldiers on board sank beneath the waves. And in 1909, in a play called The Whip, we not only crashed a full-size steam train into a bridge, but in a jaw-dropping moment for an early 20th century audience, ran the 2,000 Guineas horse race with 12 live thoroughbred horses, all galloping on an old-fashioned treadmill whilst a panorama of the race course sped by in the opposite direction. Unfortunately, this wonderful machinery, which had been state-of-the-art in the 1890s, no longer holds that mantle, and in 2019 we reluctantly decided to remove it in order to install a wonderful new stage, capable of staging the most technical of 21st century shows. But before Drury Lane closed for our £60 million renovation, the bridges and rams were powered up for one last time, and like old actors taking their final encore, gave the perfect performance. They were the icons of their time, produced from extraordinary engineering and design that for over 100 years created some of the most spectacular sights ever seen on a stage. <laughs>